Welcome to Nîmes, France. This huge amphitheatre is one of many well-preserved Roman ruins this city boasts. It's time now, though, for archery's best archers to take to their stage for the first time in 2022. Happy New Year to you all, and welcome to the medal matches at the Nîmes Archery Tournament. World number 10, Sarah Priels from Belgium, takes on the world number 133, Sandra Hervé, with the home crowd behind her here in France. It's time for the compound women's gold medal match. Sandra Hervé of France to get this gold medal match underway. Herb looks like she's really got a sight set. One of the first people this afternoon to come out finding the 10. Priels looked a bit anxious on that first arrow. Sorts on the face of Sarah Prills with that last arrow for a 28. And the first arrow for Sandra Hervé is subject to a measure, Jean. What do you think? Uh, I think it's going to be there. I think she just pulled the line at the bottom. I think you called it spot on there. So 29 for Sandra Hervé means that she takes the lead after the first by a single point here in Nîmes. Those measures are so important, John. Absolutely, but I, that was a good one, I felt, from what I could see. So, Sandra Hervé with a one-point lead. We go into end number two, and Sarah Priel's training by one will shoot first. Priel's not looking quite settled yet. I think once she does settle down, she'll slow down a bit as well. Much better shot there from Sarah. More like Sarah's timing and accuracy. Uh, matched by Sandra Hervé. So that uh, one point deficit remains in place. John, you called it there. You're saying that Prills, once she settled, would shoot better. Are we seeing signs of that now? Yep, yep. Sarah's not normally a really fast shooter. I was surprised at the speed of her first few arrows. Herve leading 58-57, so it will be the Belgian archer to shoot first in the third end of this gold medal match. Ten. 
evidence remains. But Prills has settled. <laughs> Likewise, on the other side of the shooting line, though. Sandra Herve really keeping up well with, well, keeping the lead still with Sarah Preels in this match. Looking very comfortable out there, but that has just fallen a little bit low. Mm. Did she sniff the opportunity and just slightly tighten Preels? Well, matched again. But it was that turnaround in the second arrow that made the difference. And we're all square here, John. This is really tensed up in the last few arrows. Yeah, it's, I've seen some really great shots from both athletes. But it's just been a few shots where they're just a little bit quick and they're just rushing, I feel. Very easy to sit here and criticise, but... You know, it's 20 seconds, and that's a long time, really, in reality. Taking another look at this one, just to be 100% sure, that's how important this is. Limited number of indoor events before the grand finale in Vegas. So the uh, target judge making sure of the scores as they always do but just taking a little bit paying a little bit more attention than perhaps normal these events are very important aren't they john absolutely this event well is combining of course with the las vegas shoot in two weeks time in las vegas usa and there's a lot of prize money up for grabs there as well in the indoor world series All square in the compound women's gold medal match between Hervé and Priels. So Hervé of France will shoot first in end number four. Priels has the lead now. Can she maintain it? Well, in short, no. Pressure switches over to target number one. It's another nine. And a 28 there for Hervé. Chance for Priels again. And she's done it. She's put it in to take the lead here. 115 plays 114. Priels has turned this one around in end number four. Just one more regulation end to go. Big swing there in that end. Priels caught her up. Now she's taking the lead. Can she close this match out on the last end? 114 for Hervé, 115 for Priels. Critical fourth end for the Belgian. She'll shoot second in the fifth. So it's over to Sandra Hervé of France to start end number five. Opportunity for Preels. Well, that relieves some pressure. Nine. 
Hervé's now missed three, well, shot three nines in a row. Sarah Priels is now on a roll, showing why she's the world record holder in this event. Nod of affirmation. Hervé, in a spot of bother, finishes with another nine by the looks of things for a 141. Well, it's all there for you to see. A seven will do this. Priels finishes with a perfect, a great finish to a great match for Sarah Priels. She really played a blinder there, turning it around in the fourth. She's taken the first title of the season here in the compound women's event at the Nimes Archery Tournament of 2022. Consummate performance there, John. Really, really impressive. Hervé came out finding the centre really quick, but couldn't maintain it. She started missing. Creel started really nervy, really edgy, snatching her shots a little bit. But she settled down in the third end and really showed her quality to finally win this title. Oh, C'est incroyable. Nîmes, je viens depuis que je suis toute jeune. Donc, euh, voilà, Gladys Willem, c'est une de mes idoles. Elle a gagné Nîmes au moins cinq fois, je pense. Donc, euh, voilà, c'est Nîmes était le tournoi qui me manquait. Je suis très heureuse d'avoir euh, remporté ce match et d'enfin mettre mon nom sur euh, ce tournoi. Well, the crowd really getting behind these two French athletes. Lisa Barbalamp leading out her teammate Caroline Lopez, former world youth champion, Barbalamp, the European champion, and Tokyo Olympian. Time for the recurve women's gold medal match. Barbalin shooting first here for gold in Nîmes against teammate Caroline Lopez. Oh, has she clipped the line there, Lopez? France have a really young and upcoming ladies team. Obviously, Barbalan is kind of the established one of the three. They've made some big changes since the Olympics and going into Paris now, this is priceless for all of them. Well, this opportunity is priceless for Lopez and she's taken it. That's some pretty good shooting there from uh, Lopez taking on her fancy teammate. 29 at the moment plays 28, but I fancy that could get marked up to 30. And as you say, John, part of these two are part of three young archers bidding for their slot at the Paris Games on home soil. Barbara Lamb very much the leader of the pack, but uh, here, Lopez has got off to the better start. Absolutely, Lopez started out, caught the liner on the first one, two solid tens after that she's sewing no respect to her friend for the prestige of who should be winning this match well, coaches in the box supporting the athletes these two set points to caroline lopez against her fancy teammate lisa barbala these two very much vying for Olympic spots for Paris 2024. Again, here in Nîmes, it's a lefty against a righty here on the show range. This time they're facing each other. High left nine. Uh, 
impressive fourth ten for Lopez. Barbara Lance shots, very precise. Her time is her time, she doesn't rush. Her teammate here really, really attacking that 10 and showing us a fearless display of uh, how to shoot well in a final. Moving in the right direction for Barbara Lance, but Lopez on for her second 30 of the match. And she's hit it. Perfect score so far from Caroline Lopez to go 4 0 up against Lisa Barbara. John, she's looking very relaxed, very composed, and, and no real signs of pressure on her face when she's shooting on the line. Absolutely. She's at match point upon Barbara right now, but will she suddenly realize what she's doing in this next set and let Barbara <laughs> back in? Yeah, biggest enemy perhaps her mind and thinking too far ahead. She's just got to think about the next arrow. Set number three of the compound women's gold medal match. Barbaland trailing 4-0. Will shoot first against teammate Lopez here in Nîmes. What a shot. <laughs> Trying to apply the pressure. Has that done enough? Has that gone up into the nine? Marked as a 10 on the scoreboard. Oh. Now has that one clipped the line? Well, there's a couple of judges. The judge is going to have his work cut out of there. But Lopez straight back in the 10. Well, Mark's a perfect 30 for Barbara. That's a 10. The second one's a 10. It's the first one we need to have a look at. I think either way here, John, Barbalan is definitely going to be keeping this match alive. Well, Barbalan had to shoot a 30 then, or nothing else would have been able to keep her in the match. But there is an arrow that's a bit tall from both of them, and they are so close to call. I think Barbalan's will be good, and Lopez's will be a 9. 10, 10, 9. Yeah, it sounds like the first arrow from Lopez was marked as a nine for a 29. And as you said, Barbalands has been confirmed as a 10. So not only has Barbaland kept the match alive, she's taken the third set here and now trails just by two. We'll take a look back at a couple of the shots there. Have a bit of an angry look on the face of Lisa Barbalan. Still no emotion from the Lopez but just yet. It's time for set number four. gone high and left a little smile the first emotion we've seen from Lopez in the match Barbalan has just dialed up the pressure two notches on Lopez and Lopez has just shown the first signs of thinking about it she still looks happy but there's a bit of anxiety now on that face Second perfect for Barbalan. She's definitely got the points here. She's definitely drawn level. It's important arrow though for Lopez. And clips it on the line by the looks of things. 
for a 28, but her lowest score in the match. And as you say, John, pressure applied in bundles by Barbalan. 100% Barbalan has sped up her shooting. Yeah, she's gone from being a bit cautious in those first two sets to a lot more flowing, much more aggressive in attacking. And it came down to that one millimeter on that line call just to set a little bit of doubt into Lopez's mind. And look at that, we're now all square. Set number five starts with Barbara. And she hits another 10. Marked as a nine for a measure here though. Definite 10 for Lopez. Barbalan is so dialed in now. Look at that game face she has got. You would not want to upset her. Great comeback there as well from uh, Lopez. Yeah, she's definitely found her rhythm again, but there is the snarl of gritty determination. She's popped that up into the nine. The first one is going to a measure as well. That could get marked up. She could be on a 28. She could be on a 29, Barbalan. A nine makes this very, very interesting indeed. We have to wait for the measure, John. Oh, this has been a great match. The determination from Barbalan, but has she done enough to force a tie break? I, I think it's going to be a shoot off. barbaland has got 29. Oh, you've called it. That first arrow, there it is. It does look like it's clipping the line and cutting the line. It looks like the target judge has marked it up for a 29 as well. So Barbaland does get what she needs to force the shoot off. Five apiece after five regulation sets. And we go to a tiebreaker in our first Rico gold medal match of 2022. You can't ask for better than this. You've got teammates from the same country in the host country. The crowd are loving it. You feel the electricity coming through the screen right now. Here we go. Compound, sorry, recurve women's gold medal match being decided between Barbalan and Lopez, both from France on a shoot off here in Nîmes. Beatable. 10 on the line. And that's a nine. And Lisa Barbalan from four set points to nil down has fought her way back here in Nîmes with a display, well, of unfathomable proportions. She's taken at the Nîmes gold in a shoot-off from a gutsy, gamey Caroline Lopez, an 18-year-old compatriot. But it is Lisa Barbalan, the champion of Nîmes 2022. Wow, John, what match, what a performance from both the athletes, just in slightly different ways. What absolutely fantastic match. Great display of camaraderie between the two athletes through the entire match. Uh, Lisa Barbalin just showing that she is the boss still out there. So technically, not a lot you could pick out on either of these athletes to say where they went wrong. Just great display of archery. Je ne saurais pas trop quoi dire. Je suis immensément contente de ce qui vient de se passer. Ça a été un match de folie du début à la fin. Caro a été juste impressionnante du début à la fin. Et je suis trop fière de là où on est aujourd'hui toutes les deux. Time now to go for gold. It's time for the compound men's gold medal match.
So time for the compound men's gold medal match. Nicholas Girard of France on target number one will shoot first against his more experienced compatriot, Jean-Philippe Bouche. Well, number 59 will get the gold medal match started. This is how you start a gold medal match. Absolute perfection from both so far. Nine measure for Gerard. Can Bush get the perfect? Yes, he can. Perfect start for JP Bush. For a 30. We wait for the measure on Nicola Girard's third arrow. Did you get a feel for that third arrow, John? Well, it wasn't the cleanest shot he made. His front arm was dipping down a bit as he his shot broke. It's gonna be on the line. Let's see what the judge says. Sounds like it has been marked up, both finishing with perfect scores despite the drop in form on process. It's 30 apiece between Girard and Bulsh. As we go into the second end here. Seems to be a little bit more explosion on Girard's back arm on the release, John. Any thoughts on that? He has a really aggressive attacking shot, which isn't always the norm for uh, this kind of indoor shooting. But as I said to you in the build-up, he has been the, the man shooting the big scores this indoor season around, around Europe. Time for end number two, all square between the two French athletes, Girard and Bulch. Neither have missed the 10 so far. Bit of a snatch on that one. I think he was rushing the shot. I wonder if the time was counting down. And the result is a nine. And Bolsh is just putting him inside out in the ten ring at the moment. Twenty-nine for Girard. And Twenty-nine for Bulge. His first drop points here. So fifty-nine. Now at the moment it's showing fifty-nine sixty, but I got uh, Girard's second arrow as a nine, John. I'm surprised that's going to a measure. I'm even more surprised that Bulge dropped his last one low. He looked so solid. Well, we wait for the scores to be confirmed. Definitely looked low for Borsch on his third arrow. 
just had a bit of a dip, I suspect, on the on the site as he was executing. And that's the result. Low nine. Looks like it has been uh, recalculated to a 29 for Girard as well. So 59 plays 59 is confirmed here in Meme. So Girard will shoot first. Number three. See that backhand curling away as Girard releases the shot. See the difference with uh, Bush and his release. He gave that a bit of English on the front as he tried to correct it. He must have known the dot was not over the middle. And you saw him swing his front arm across, trying to save the 10. But unfortunately, there was nothing he could do. And Bolsch really didn't look happy with that 10. That's perfectly in the 10. I don't know what's going on with him. I couldn't see anything odd. Nine called on the third arrow for Girard. Puts him on an 87. A perfect second one for Bush. Puts him on an 89. Now, another curious one for me. I thought the third arrow from Girard was in the 10. I'm, I'm really shocked I got called as a nine. Yeah, we wait again for the scores to be confirmed amended of course potentially Bolsch keeps shaking his head but every time he shakes his head his arrow is clearly inside the tank yeah, the archers though perfectionists perhaps not fully satisfied with his uh, execution We go into end number four here. With Girard trailing against his French compatriot, Bouche. Been good into that top target. Ten every time from Girard. Same though from Borsch with his first arrow. Going into bottom left. It's interesting that Girard actually has four fletchings on his arrow, four plastic veins on the back. It's very rare to see that. But it's definitely working really well for him. Oh, Bolsch had some forward movement then. Yeah. Good spot. Did you see as he came into the final anchor position, his hand just went forward, and that'll move where the arrow is in the bow, and it's very hard then to save a 10. First perfect from Nicolas Girard. Puts him on a 117. A 10 keeps him in the lead, but a 29 and some significant movement spotted by John Knott uh, from JP Bulsh. So just go over that again, please, John. So he's getting what we call creep. Yeah. So he's just losing his back pressure and the arrow is creeping forward. But because of how the compound bows work, that actually moves how the arrow will shoot. So it won't act. It's really hard for him to still achieve a 10 at that point. 
And what are the reasons for creep? Is it is it fatigue potentially? Nerves. Well, suffering from creep, JP Bulsh has allowed yeah. Nicola Girard to close back by a single point. But Girard still trails as we go into the fifth and final regulation end. It's 118 plays, 117. Bulsh leading this all French compound men's gold medal match. Gone for a measure, that first arrow marked on the scoreboard provisionally as a nine. Much better form then from Bolsh, sorted that out. It's another one that's gone for a measure. Uh, messy because of how close the groupings are on the targets for Girard. Difficult for the uh, target judge to make his call. Potentially finishing with a 28 there, Girard. <laughs> Bangs it into the 10 for a 29. Now, if my maths is right, that's a, a 147. If that stays the same for JP Bulsh, but there's two potential markups for Nicolas Girard. The first two. Looks like the agent is happy for J.P. Bulsh. So 145 notionally on the board for Nicholas Girard. This measure is so important. Needs both to be converted to 10s. Ten nine nine called for Girard. 10, 10, 9 called for JP Bulsh, and he has taken this gold medal match here in the compound men's division at the Nîmes Archery Tournament of 2022. He will stand on top of the podium at the first international event of the calendar year. Ben, c'est pas facile euh, international. Euh, bon moi je l'emporte. Euh, C'était serré sur la dernière volée, on savait pas trop qui avait fait quoi. Bon ça passe, ben, content, un bon week-end. Just one more to go here at Nîmes 2022 and now it's time for that final match, the recurve men's gold medal match. It's time for the recurve men's gold medal match here in Nîmes, and it's over to Felix Weiser of Germany. <laughs> Fat arrow clipping the line for the German. Weiler using the thin arrows, clearly inside the line. Weiser there showing why people do choose to use the fat arrows, but Weiler doesn't need them at the moment. Curse of the commentator. Weiler going out for a nine there. Visa on a measure for his second arrow. We think it's a 10. That's also going to go to a measure. That one's slightly more dubious. So provisional 28 for Visa. Yeah. 
Definite 29 for Viola. Now, two arrows going to a measure here, John. I thought the second one looked good to me. The third one I wasn't so sure of. Really hard to tell, but what we will know after the judge has made his decision is was it worth shooting those fat arrows? 10 10 10 called for Visa there, if I'm not mistaken. That's a 30, and I think the set points will go to him. Wrong way around, but it was 10 10 10. Viola, now we just wait for this because nothing's been updated. 10 10 no, 10 was surprising. called for Visa. It's two set points to the German on two measured arrows, both being marked up. So 29 28 for Viola turns into a 30 29 in favour of the German. What a measure that was! Violet will start set number two here, trailing by two points. Such a measured, controlled shot from Steve Weiler. You can see how strong he is. You can see all the work that he puts in to control his shot and his bow the way he does. Just holding on for the perfect there. Steve Viola on the 30, but can be matched by Visa here for a share of the points. Pops it into the 10 for his second perfect score and a 3-1 lead after two sets against Steve Viola. Felix Visa looking very strong. And looking very composed. Steve Weyer from the Netherlands is trailing Felix Weiser here in Germany. Gets set number three underway with a 10. Fat arrow again coming to the aid of Felix Visa. Visa has an incredibly steady aim. Second perfect in a row for Steve Vier of the Netherlands. Will it be three for Felix Visa? Yes, it will be. What great shooting from the German. He's now 4-2 up. Going into the fourth set here. So, John, what can... Steve Viola do here. He is the more experienced athlete. He is shooting first. He is putting the pressure down on, on Visa, but Visa has not capitulated once yet. 
Steve Wheeler is doing everything right. He keeps shooting 10 after 10 after 10. But Visor just soaking up the pressure like a sponge. And is, uh, is, it's almost like his bow is on a holder. It's so still at full draw. It's absolutely incredible. Incredible it is. It's time to go into the fourth set here in this gold medal match. The last of the action here at the Neem Archery Tournament of 2022. Steve Vier of the Netherlands is trailing four points to two to Felix Visa of Germany. It will be the Dutch archer to shoot first in this fourth set. No cracks showing yet, and the Germans' process or posture. Viola has not missed the 10 since the third arrow of the first set, dropping his only point on the second arrow, and that's what's making the difference at the moment. Caught the line. Again, <laughs> a little bit of Bo Kondo there from Steve Vaya for a third perfect in a row. Will it be another one from Visa here? It certainly is, and he's on. For a perfect commentator's curse, of course, leading 5 3 after four. Visa hasn't dropped any points. To be fair, he's benefited from at least four line cutters, a couple of them very close indeed. Time for the fifth set here in this gold medal match, the recurve men's event in Nîmes via trailing five sets to three. Needs to put some pressure on shooting first. Gets a 10. We're looking here, if you're supporting Steve Vaya for a cracking Felix Visa's approach to the draw and release. None shown so far, and that remains. Hasn't missed the 10 at the German. That one, he gave that a little bit, but he got it in there. He is giving it absolutely everything. Uh, Visor's finger placement on the string, which is not showing this time, is absolutely textbook. I've never seen a bottom finger on the string so well. Absolutely brilliant for anybody upcoming starting archery. One arrow left for each of these archers. Violet Brilliant. gets his fourth perfect in a row, having just dropped one point in the first. A 10 will take it, a 9 will take it. Can he do it? It's on the line. Wow. It is a 10. It is five perfects in a row for Felix Weiser. And the German has done it here, six points to four. But really, he did it in the very first set where Viola dropped just one point throughout the entire match. That was where the German Felix Visa picked up the points he needed to take gold here in Nîmes. John, if you shoot 160 points, 150 points, then you, are, you basically, uh, you can only be matched. And dropping one point just isn't enough. It's the only thing I can say about that. It was almost cruel on Steve Waller, who shot absolutely incredible through the whole match. But one tiny miss was all it took. And Visor was an absolute machine, rock steady, 
I don't even know if he had a heartbeat in that match. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure he did. He's still standing there, but it's uh, beating very slowly. I can't believe it. I'm here for many times, and the first time uh, I shot here in the in a medal final, and one is a uh, yeah, it's, it's great. One of his greatest successes. What a brilliant performance from Felix Visa. I think he was basically saying he had his mojo today, and it all came easy to him. Uh, well, listen, thank you to you, John. Been fabulous to have your insight as always. Thank you very much, Krim. Enjoyed it very much. And thanks to all of you for watching this first live event of 2022. Plenty more to come, including the action from Las Vegas coming to you at the start of February. It's been superb action here in the finals hall at the Neem Archery Tournament of uh, 2022. We've seen Priels taking compound women's gold Barbalan taking the recurve women's goal for France. Bouche of France taking the compound men's goal. And Felix Visa of Germany finishing things off with the recurve men's gold medal. A beautiful performance and a beautiful tournament here in Nîmes. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.